Well, I have a question for you. Uh -huh. If you could change one thing in 2024, what would it be? Brad, you start because you probably have the longest. You could change tw one thing in <laughs> How 20, much more time do you have before Brad goes? It's going to be two or three minutes. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. Um, I would just I mean, say for people to just get along more, probably. For you personally, though, I think I'd say, I'd say not to be. Myself? I'd say not to be so impulsive. That's my. It would be mine. Not to be in some, so impulsive. I mean, dude, I think it comes down to this, the same thing you were saying earlier about like just feeling like I'm good enough about myself, like just being good enough, and in a lot of circumstances, right? Because like there's just certain times when it's like I wish I had done things differently. I wish I had like acted or had a conversation before it was a problem. I think just generally just being like more open to that sort of conversation before it becomes a bigger problem. You know, and like just, yeah. That's the question, answer, was, I think honestly, for people, is just focus on yourself, believe in yourself, and don't give a fuck about other people, what they think about you. I thought he meant specifically for ourselves. I mean, in any way you want to answer. Okay. Go ahead, Bob. I already did. Impulse, like, you know, not make late night 4 a.m. posts and going wild. <laughs> what about you? You know, that, the, the book I've written, We've Got Issues is really a book about unification uh, because, <clears throat> you know, I, I list in there 10 things that I think are important for a healthy society because I, I, I think we forget that we're all Americans. Everybody's so divided. And I, I'm really proud of this country. I'm, I'm proud to be an American. Oh, yeah. And people forget that. You know, we're all Americans. I, and if... Um, yeah, you know, I spent a lot of time in the litigation arena. Like, I, like you were saying, that's how I met Oprah. Mm -hmm. And um, I always tell people, if if I'm negotiating with somebody, the, f the first thing I do, and I even say this to teenagers that are negotiating with their parents for a different curfew or something, or if you're negotiating country to country or whatever, first thing you should always do is sit down and say, let's make a list of everything we agree on first and then we can talk about things we don't agree on people don't do that enough it's true. I, I mean if you first say what's our common ground we wouldn't be nearly as divided as we are right now ever like think about what I think the media amplifies on? that though, they right? do because it sells tickets but if you think about it we all want a, a solid America right yeah. We, we all yeah. want a solid country. We want a prosperous country. We want a safe country. We want a better country for our kids. You know, we want, you think about it, we all want so many of the same things. We want everybody to be prosperous. We want everybody to be secure. We want all of that. The only things we disagree about pretty much are how. Mm -hmm. We all want the same things. It's just what's the best way to get there. People... They spend so much time picking at differences instead of focusing on what we agree on. And it's, I want everybody to do well. I have to tell you, it's actually funny you say that. We did Dana recently, Dana White, and he said that. Yeah, I know Dana. He's a great guy. Of course. Oh, he's he said wonderful. The biggest right? problem is people are now afraid to be proud to be an American. And I, I say it. I, I, first page of the book, I, I say I love this country. I stand up when the flag goes by. I put my hand over my heart when the national anthem plays. I mean, it's I love this country. Is and I'm tired of people apologizing for it. Yeah, I mean, why, why do you think people are afraid to stand up and be proud to be an American now? Because it gets criticized by so many people that find something wrong and say we should be ashamed of this. I, I love this country enough to say that we do have issues. We, of course we do. It, it, we don't have equal opportunity for everybody. We don't, and we should work harder to make that happen, for sure. I don't care if you start out in third base, dugout, or dumpster. We all have to work to get where we're going. But, and, and we should work to try to level that playing field. I agree with that 100%. We do have problems. We do have inequities in this country, and we should work to make them better. That doesn't mean I don't love this country. And if I got a hill to climb, I'd sure rather climb it in America than anywhere else.